I don't think they even know this fire is here. Fun with family fun pack. Hi guys, welcome to Family Fun Pack. We're in New Mexico heading towards Arizona. We have two really cool stops coming up, but we saw this on the side of the road and we're like, hey, let's go. So we're going in. We're adding a dot to where we live. This is a country map. What country are you from? We're from America. We're gonna watch this movie. We've got the theater to ourselves, but well, this is a great way to learn. We're making a gas station stop for food. But they have a subway here, so we're gonna get sandwiches. I'm gonna get the barbecue chicken. Oh, that looks yummy. We're leaving with Subway and a bag of snacks. We're still eating our snacks, but we're playing a little game to pass the time. And the game is called, What Do You Think Of When We Say? So Matt says a word and then we all think of what we think of. So go ahead. The color blue. Ocean. Ocean. Blueberry. Fire. That's a good answer. The color red. Fire. 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 My favorite color. Strawberries. Michael's favorite color. That's true also. Fire. Then fire truck. I heard you. Florida. Everglades. NASA. Oh, Panama City Beach. Matt thinks of sharks. Think of Owen Panama thinks of CCs. I think of yeah, they have Everglades crazy Everglades. weather there. All the thunderstorms. What'd you say, David? Everglades and oranges. Oh, yeah. That's right. Everglades and oranges. Alyssa said the beaches. We think of a lot of things when we think of Florida. We're passing the continental divide. The next game we're playing is where we say a letter of the alphabet. We're going in order A to Z, and you have to say a city, state, or country or place basically that starts with that letter. So we're currently on M. What do you guys have for M? Mississippi. Memphis. Memphis. Montana. Oh, it's still some fire truck. Good one, Maine. Oh, Maine, that's another good one. Modesto. Manchester. That's a good one. Oh, Mendocino. That's another oh, yeah, city in California. Yeah, that's a good one. And Makapu, that's a place in Hawaii. Yep. That's where we caught the octopus. Really? I mean, not caught, where we filmed it. Yeah, where we found the octopus inking. That was pretty cool. First stop, sanitizer. Look at that. You pump it with your foot and get it with your hand. Wow, that's cool. Pretty cool, right? Oh, that is very cool. There's lots of good stuff in this visitor center, I know. Let me see your snake going. My snake is named Dumpa. That's a great name. And our name is Garbage We're not very far away from the visitor center that we were just at. And look at our first viewpoint. Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? You wouldn't even know this was here. And then suddenly there it is. It's crazy. It's beautiful. I want to go down there. It looks like it'd be fun to run along there, doesn't it? It would be fun to go down there. It would be fun to do this, but like for sanding. Oh, yeah. A dune buggy. Yeah. We just got to the next stop. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody wants an iPad picture. Everybody always goes to the Grand Canyon, but the Painted Desert and Petrified Forests are amazing. As you can tell in my hair, it's pretty windy out here today, but it feels good. It's like a hot, dry wind, and it definitely makes it more fair, that's for sure. Hardly feels hot at all with that little bit of wind going and no humidity. This is the Painted Desert Inn. Nice hair, Chris. Thanks. We're trying no, not to I'm just get our feet, because this is dirt. We got water on our feet, so all the dirt will stick. Yep. So now you're gonna jump into the car? Yeah, yeah. so we open it. Here, I can, here, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your bottle. Oh, wait, the door's closing, the door's closing. Here, take mine too. I have four clubs on this. That was clumsy. <laughs> you coming, Michael? He's breaking the record. Makes it. Oh gosh. <laughs> We're at another viewpoint and the interesting thing is you guys can tell how hazy it is and that's because there's some major fires going on nearby. 
can definitely tell. Next stop is to this famous spot. This is talking about the famous Route 66. It's a pretty cool old car, huh? I wonder if there's any bugs or anything living inside it. Wanna see? Let's look inside. Let's see. Anybody in there? No engine. Nothing's really in here. No, this is where the steering wheel is. Yeah, you're right. I don't even see spiders. I thought there'd be like spiders living in there, but it's actually wood. not really. Wood. Alyssa read the sign and she said those poles that have nothing going between them right there is the old Route 66. Do you like my car? I do like it. Does it drive really well? Yeah. I think so too. We got to our hotel. We're gonna go finish the national parks tomorrow. Everyone's in the background arguing over who gets to sleep with mommy. I feel so honored. Hey, I am like, girl, I should. I'm a nice guy. They all want to sleep in my room. Oh my gosh, the sun is like so dark red. It is not looking as good as it looks in real life. That is crazy. We just stopped at an event and they're doing some cultural dances up here. to see that performance so we stopped but Safeway closes in 10 minutes so we gotta run. <laughs> hurry Owen, hurry! Yeah. Look at the yeah. over there. Oh that's cool. cool. Hopefully we get in there before they shut the doors. Gotta get some dinner. Yeah we do get dinner. So funny thing we made it into Safeway. We shopped as fast as we possibly could so we totally got ripped off because we didn't look for any sale prices. We were just throwing stuff in the car because we wanted to get out of there before they closed at eight o'clock and then Matt found out they closed at nine. But by that time it was already too late. So it's fine. We shopped in 10 minutes. We're gonna head inside and microwave our food. And I think we'll see everyone tomorrow. I see you later. I see you tomorrow. It's day two and we're at our first visitor center. This is petrified wood, meaning these are literally trees that petrified and turned to stone. Super ancient trees, which is like, it's crazy. Oh, wow. Cool. Look at all of that. That's so cool. It's beautiful. This is America. Yes. So here's a quick lowdown on how it worked. All these trees here in Arizona were actually near the equator. And we had the giant landmass Pangaea before it split. And these trees, they were in the ocean, they were covered by water and the minerals sunk into the bark and the silica from the volcanic activity from the vol volcanoes also sunk into the trees. And then the trees didn't have oxygen and that's what caused the petrification process. And then when all the water dried up, they were uh, left here as stone. So pretty. Owen's begging to be carried. <laughs> oh, look. oh, look at that Daddy, sweet boy. And Chris found a dollar. <laughs> well, that's a lucky find. We'll have to see if it belongs to anybody. And if not, it belongs to you, I guess. Right behind me is a visitor center, so this is definitely easy. You can get to this spot, which has a lot of stuff to look at really quickly. Look at this. So cool. Huge tree. This complete rock. It's amazing. This is pretty. I don't know if you can see on the video, but it's sparkly. This is cool. It's amazing. You can see all these trees all broken up. There's another one. Looks like we got some rangers or something doing something over there. Probably making an educational video. So pretty. I got to give you guys some close-ups because it's just beautiful looking. You're so cute. Look at that pretty lizard. It's fast, Chris. It's fast, Chris. Oh, you almost got it. 
This is crazy because just imagine all this used to be the ocean floor. Just imagine this being underwater and it looks even cooler. Look how tall this one is, guys. There is some perspective to see how tall that is. Here's our next stop. There's this cool little building you get to walk through at this spot. There's a nice path. And yeah, that's pretty cool down there. Yeah. We took the blue Mesa loop and here's one of the viewpoints. There you can walk on and you can see this is pretty awesome really beautiful however it's really hot outside so we're kind of just enjoying it from the car right now and you can do that too which is also why i like this park because you don't have to totally walk everywhere come back during a different month yes come back when it's not 100 degrees outside This is definitely one of the coolest spots. You can see people down there hiking and this would be such a fantastic trail if it wasn't quite so hot. I would love to be going on that right now. That's almost prettier than the other side. I can't believe how pretty this is. So amazing. I can't get over the crazy beauty here. There's the beach. You can definitely see all the smoke from the fires, but wow, it's still really impressive. It's literally on the side of the road, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh crap. Slid it, slid it out of here. Oh my gosh. I don't think they even know this fire is here. There is no fireman here. Oh my gosh. How do you guys like the circles imprinted on my hand? This is from me slipping at a viewpoint and catching myself on circular rocks. Well, everybody, this is actually the last day of our road trip, the official last day of fun stuff. After this, it's just kind of driving home and unpacking and the boring stuff. We've been on the road almost 100 days. We've gone 10,000 miles in our car and we've learned a couple things. I think we, first of all, realized we need to pack a little bit lighter. I think we brought too much stuff. Matt's been struggling to pack the car sometimes because we have two coolers and Surfboard. a boogie board. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff we don't need. Suitcase full of food that we're not opening. Yeah. So our goal for one of our next trips is to pack just a little bit lighter because I think we can do it. Something else that we didn't learn, but we kind of reviewed or whatever you want to say is that there's a lot of really beautiful places right in the very country that we live in. We're so lucky and blessed to have such a beautiful country with so many different things throughout the country to visit and see. And there's a lot of places that get overlooked. So we've been really having a great time seeing all these amazing places that maybe everyone doesn't always visit. The comments are on on our shorts channel. I know they're never on on the main channel. They probably never will be. But make sure you guys let us know if you want us to visit somewhere or if you visit any places we have visited because we love hearing that. We love to travel. We love to make family memories together. I think driving is so much better than flying because you're able to just stop and do random stuff. Like when we saw that waterfall alongside the road that was in a big cave and we went and saw it. So that's my opinion. I just think it's super fun to make the journey the most enjoyable part of the experience. We saw some amazing waterfalls on this trip. We saw a turtle in the road. I told you guys that was like my life dream. Had we been flying over Florida, we would not have seen that turtle. So that was so cool. And in this last vlog, I just want to thank you all for watching us. And we'll see you in our next video that's probably going to be in our home. Unless something crazy happens, then I might film another one. But officially, this is our last day of our road trip. And we've had so much fun. Hopefully, you've enjoyed coming along. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.